Okay, so we're going to change some brake pads on our Volkswagen Golf. As you can see here, we've got it here. First things first, you're going to get loads of gunk. First things first, you're going to get loads of gunk on your fingers and on your hands while you do this. So, what I do, get some of these gloves on. Yeah, they might not look the best. Well, mate, you're going to be grateful when you don't get loads of rubbish on your hands and on your nails and spend spending half an hour cleaning your fingers. You may, you wish you did. So, I'll put these put these gloves on first job when you're changing your brake pads first thing you want to do is you want to pop your bonnet and you want to undo your brake fluid reservoir as you can see there just take it off the reason why you want to do that is when you take your brake pads off you need to release the caliper and if your brake pad reservoir lid is still on there's gonna it's gonna cause a lot more pressure and you're not gonna be able to push your caliper in so first things first just get that done Make sure you jack it up well, put it on a stand here, keep it pretty safe, you don't want it falling down on you, you wouldn't be very happy if that happened. Okay, so we've got the wheel off, see these pads, they're getting a bit low, still probably a little bit of life left in them, but uh, the lights come on in the car, I'll show you the light in the car. So you can see the light in the car there. That's the brake wear indicator. So that's not gonna go off. That is not gonna go off until you replace those. You can see it says check check brake wear. You can see there, check brake wear. Straight forward. Okay. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this thing off here so these pads can fall out. Okay, so we're now Okay, so we've got to take we've got to take this nut off here as you can see it's the size of this is a it's a half inch nut it's extremely tight and that's what happens to your to your tills if you've got cheap tills it's pretty strong so be careful when you're taking it off because you can hey, they're as tight as anything and as you can see I've just split that taking it off so when you're doing it probably best using a bigger spanner you get a bit more leverage on it and that's not going to damage you also need to hold hold this thing in here to stop it from turning around as you're screwing otherwise when you turn it it's just going to spin both things around so that's the first knot that i need to take off so we need to take this one off and do the same one at the other side at the bottom okay so you can see i've pulled off the clip i've taken off the bolts and then I've pulled this out. What you want to do is you want to suspend this up because um, you want to suspend this up because you can see it's attached to the brake, the brake pipe there, which is the your brake pipe with all the fluid in. It. So you don't want to have this hanging down. So you don't want that to snap. Okay. What you need to do is you need to once you've got the pads off, you need to push this cylinder in. So it's a bit tricky to pull push it in. So you can buy a specific tool to do it. Uh, I think they're probably, they're not going to be much, probably $20 from a, a decent tool store. Or alternatively, you can use like one of these things. You know, if you're doing a bit of carpentry, cabinetry, this tool will squeeze in and just roll it back. So, so you need to just push that back in. It is a bit tr tight. Uh, the reason why you need to release your brake fluid valve at the top, your cap, is because if you don't, you're going to be pushing against pressure and you won't be able to push this in. So as you can see, I've, that's what it looks like when you've pushed it fully in. I'm keeping it suspended. I'll just keep it on there. These things around it, so hopefully it's not going to fall down. And uh, we're ready to take the pads off. So these pads will pull off straight away easily. See, there's a couple of clips in there which hold them in. We need to pull these clips out. There we go, you can see the levers out. You know, so that's what it looks like. 
so the brake light came on with this like you saw in the car it's still got a bit of life left in it but not a huge lot of life left in it that's, so that's the old one so that's this is the original one that you you get on the car from the from brand new so you can see that's that side on the other side out and you can see this one so this is the one with the sensor on it so the reason why that lights come on in the car is because it's creating a contact here that's creating a circuit which then lights up that bulb in your on your dashboard so that's why the sensor is going on so you can see once your sensor goes on you've probably got a, about five or ten thousand kilometers left to drive on there because that'd last a bit longer that definitely would do but yeah once the light comes on you got to start thinking about changing it okay so I'll give it a bit of a clean before I shove them back on give, give them a bit of a clean you can see use a bit of this brake cleaner Spread up a bit. turn it off Get all the gunk off it. Turn it up a bit. Make it look a bit nicer. Now, do you need to do this? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, it looks a lot better. A lot better. Rubbish. Okay, unfortunately for me, the brake pads have got it wrong, so I'm just gonna have to shove these back on until I get the right size. So I'm gonna bit, give them a bit of a clean before I shove them back on. The great thing about wearing gloves is when you do this you don't get all this gunk on you. Let's give this a good clean. Straightforward. So snap him back in there. Now it's pretty straightforward putting him back in because if you get him in the wrong way, you know it's not going to work. So you know that they need to go the other way. You can see it's pretty straightforward. Get there. See the clip shiver in like that in the bottom one, shiver them in, it's real easy. Shove that one in, it went in so easy. If you tried to put them in the wrong way, they wouldn't fit. Put them in now. I might struggle here a little bit because I can't even see what I'm doing. Do your best. Yeah, it's not too hard. One side. Okay. 
the other side. Yeah, that's so easy, ridiculously easy. Show them back in. Okay, so we obviously want to then get the calipers back on. Caliper goes back over. And it's not hard at all. You can see because I'm putting this back on and because I haven't put brand new ones on, there's a huge amount of give in it when you get your new ones on. It's going to be a lot less give. Shove that in. You can see here, uh, put the screw back in. You've got to hold that screw in and then screw that through it. Turn around. So many is this, to show. Use some of these. You have decent tools and makes this a lot easier. Unfortunately, I don't have that decent tools, so it's a bit harder. But mate, we get it working. I just did that on loosely. Put the other one on, like you can see. Pull out, let's get the other screw. Back in. Tighten it up. Let's tighten it because I need to hold that thing in place. Yeah, let's see, you've got to hold that there tight. This and this one off. You gotta use a bit of a thin spanner on there. Okay, I'm gonna use some mole grips. Okay, I'll use these mole grips to hold that in place. Let's hold that. Just so I can tighten it up. There you go, that's a bit easier. Tightening up there, tightening into place, there we go, <clears throat> so as you can see we're in a confined space and it's easy to smack yourself in the face when you're doing this, be careful, because when you do it, it flipping hurts. OK, 
Okay, tightening up this top one as you can see. Okay, that's that tight. Okay, that's back on. I'm going to apply the brakes now. Once you've fitted your brake pads, you want to get in your car, start your engine, and uh, just pump your brakes a little bit. And you can see it gets it right back in, gets the, uh, pumps the caliper back out again and pushes the caliper on the brakes which pushes it back into place so you can see that's nice and tight again now uh, ready to put the wheel back on and ready to go so I'm going to give it another quick last clean up around here and we, we're pretty much there ok as you can see I've given it a bit of a clean down very great way to clean is use a toothbrush on this stuff mate it gets it super clean yeah, it's awesome spray it on Get a good clean. You want to make this super super clean, which there's probably no point in really doing. But hey, if you wanted to paint this, make it look a bit fancy, this is probably what you want to do first. As you can see, gets it really really clean. Soft sort that. Okay, put the wheel back on now. Okay, so now we'll throw the wheel back on. Get the wheel back on the car. And we are ready to go. guys there you go have it job done uh, that's how to replace the replace the brake pads on a Volkswagen Golf